Okay, girls, that's it. Everyone stop you are. Come on, line up, girls. After the 15 minutes, we were asked one at a time to step forward in front of the judges and justify our outfit. Normally, I'm very accused of being brown Irish and dressing older. So, um, yeah, I thought this style, it's just fun, it's funky and it's young. I think you're heading in the right direction. Yeah. I just hate what you've put together, though. Yeah. Um, it sort of looks like two outfits have met yeah. in the street and had a fight and that's how they ended up. Now, with the makeup, those lips, why is so, like, pumped like that? I'm not sure. I don't know what you were thinking. I was watching you then. I'm like, she didn't listen. Like, it's about keeping it simple. Like, you're going from grandma to, like, hooker. you got to kind of find the balance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, no, There's a middle ground. There's a middle ground. I like it. I actually loved your hair when you first took it out. Yeah. And you overworked it, put a lot of product. You got iron marks, subtle iron marks. So it's kind of ruined the image for me. Not bad. Not bad. I don't think the top works. No. It doesn't fit. <laughs> I was really happy with my look. Um, it was very me. That might have been part of the problem. I think you look great, but I want to see you slicker, more modern, less old-fashioned, eclectic. I tried to go with the, um, the dress and the heels. Yep. It's kind of opposite to anything else that I would normally wear, but I thought I'd give it a go. I felt like I looked like the biggest wank stain, but I thought um, it's probably the look that Jonathan wanted me to go for. Well, babe, I don't think you've kicked a goal. You look amazing. I love it. I love it. I think you did the steps quite well, but I actually feel you're a bit lazy. I don't really feel you really know who you are, and I kind of feel you're slouchy and kind of lacklustre about it. It's very you. It's very fashion. You know, if you turn up to a casting, yeah. Yeah, there's a story. I get it. I, I want to know more. Steph, come and talk to us about your decisions. I think today I pretty much bombed out in the competition. Just was, wasn't going to try and talk up the outfit because it was obvious I'd done a horrible job. I think you started off somewhere great and you ended up somewhere terrible. She knows she's got to take her own personal style probably quite a long way. Unfortunately, today just didn't work for her. She really looked like a bit of a town virgin. And I know you can do better, which is what pisses me off the most. There was no confidence in the whole thing with you. Like, even if you put none of the makeup on, your skin's actually really good on its own, and you actually have features that really work. I don't know why you panicked about everything. I kind of think the first look that you had was actually working for you in a way. Um, it was just hard. Like, I did start crying. It was just that I was 100% disappointed in myself. I knew I could have done better if I just looked at the clothes more carefully before just picking out anything to throw it on. We took you from prep girl to adult and you've gone back to prep girl. So Steph has been doing so well. I think we all kind of noticed that it's been getting to her head a bit and, you know, always centre of attention, always winning everything and just not being that modest about it all. So today when she didn't go so well, I think it was, everyone was kind of smirking. It was kind of cool to see her fuck up today. So girls, some of you have done really well and others, well, not so well. And it's been a hard decision, but we've actually ended up with two winners. I know we said there'd only be one, but two standouts today. Congratulations, Jane and Paloma. I was stoked. I was really happy too that I um, got to share what I'd won with Jane as well, because she's one of my friends. I think it was really unfair that she won as well, because um, she didn't even have to change her style one bit, so it's easy to choose um, clothes fitted to your own style, your own personal style, when um, you don't have to do anything new. I think it's really unfair that she won. So girls, before I tell you what your prize is, I'd like you both to pick one friend each who will be coming along with you, as quick as you can. Jordan. Um, Steph. When I found out what the prize was for the challenge. I was, oh, I could have shot myself in the head. So the four lucky winners will be heading to the red carpet event, complete with celebrities for the third birthday party of Ruby Rabbit, infamous celebrity hangout place. <laughs> As for the rest of you, you will also be attending the same function. Unfortunately, you'll be part of the catering staff. <laughs> I'm not really the biggest Paloma fan, so I was pretty pissed off that she won.
When we got back, um, Jody was there, which was um, really exciting because it's always exciting when Jody comes because we know something's going great's going to happen, um, or scary, or both. Wow! Hi guys, come in, sit down. I want to have a look at your new haircuts. I was wondering what they were going to do with your hair, and it looks absolutely incredible on you. You happy with it? Yeah. Looks beautiful. She sat down and she started showing us a model bag. Most models have a massive bag with them because they've got to carry their portfolios and bras and flesh coloured underwear. And, and it was basically going through like a Mimco bag full of like all those sort of things that you need, all a model needs every day and for every shoot. All this manicure stuff, nail polish, nail files, nail clippers, tweezers, waxing, strips, um, underwear. Oh God, I almost cried when they said that we were going to get that big bag and all that stuff in it. Okay, so guys, there'll be no excuses for turning up looking like you're about to get on a plane with three or four bags. You have everything that you need will fit into these giant Mimco bags, so... In the bag was another smaller Mimco bag, which was like, it's like genuine leather. I think some girls got orange and some girls got red. You got like four lovable bras and some undies and they were all like uh, strapless and convertible. I don't, never owned any of them, so it was really good. I'm just so thankful and like it's just I really don't want to let you know Jody and, and the judges down now because we've got everything that we we need I I do not want to let them down. I won the challenge this week. Yeah, Lauren told me. I'm yeah. sick. We've got to get a dress. How exciting is that? Me and like this other chick one, and we got to pick a friend each, and we went to the shop to get like shoes and outfit because we got to go to a party. Hey girls, how are you? Hi. Welcome to Manning Cartel. I'm Cheryl. Hi Jane. Paloma, Jane, myself and Jordan went to Manning Cartel shop in Paddington to choose outfits for the VIP event at Ruby Rabbit. We've got a whole shop full of clothes, so run wild and choose your favourite dress. How exciting, yay. We walk in the shop and they're all like excited and shit and I was just like, yeah, wicked. That looks really good on you, actually. Yeah. And the white's great with your colouring, yeah. for sure. It's so exciting because they said that we get to, like, brush shoulders, I think that's what they call it, with um, A of this. So we're really excited. But then all the rest of the girls have to cater for them and us. <laughs> the doorbell rang and there was bags sitting outside the door. Two losers. Oh my god. I came out from the bedroom to see her holding costume bags for the party. Sophie, this is our outfit for tonight. Oh my god. <laughs> we pulled them out and they were like ruffle outfits, kind of. The outfits are awesome. <laughs> When we got home, the losers had seen their costumes and then they had 15 minutes to get ready and go. It was really pretty funny. Um, they were pretty skanky. Can we swap outfits? Can you go? Yeah, I think this one goes on the outside. Or maybe it goes on the inside. We were kind of excited, but a bit worried by the costumes because um, we were starting to wonder exactly what we'd be doing. I reckon Sophie looks um, really hot in that outfit. Yeah, I'd pay 50 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, check out my face. <laughs> when we arrived at Ruby's Rabbit, we met Matt, who was the manager and in charge of the night. So ladies, I'm just going to run through your tasks with you this evening. We're going to have to do some fun things. 